Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here. And today I'm going to be reviewing the app called Manual Camera for Android devices. And now this camera utilizes the Camera 2 API within Android Lollipop. And it basically unlocks your whole camera because in my opinion, the stock camera with Lollipop is a piece of junk. I can't change white balance. I can't change exposure. I can't do anything with this thing besides record video or pictures and switch between the front facing and the back camera. That's it. And so I was needing something that enabled me to change the way I take pictures. And so I was on the hunt and I found this app, Manual Camera. And right now it's only working for a couple devices because it uses the Camera 2 API from Lollipop. And if your phone is not support it, does not support the actual app, you can tell because they offer a free app as like a test app, that way you don't waste your money. Um, but if the manufacturers like Samsung or LG are not implementing the Camera 2 API in their versions of Lollipop on their phones, then this app might not work on your phone. But you can test it out um, with the free app that they offer. But this app lets you take control of your whole phone. Like I said, you can change your ISO levels, you can change your exposure, your focus, shutter speed, your flash, all this stuff. And it's actually really cool and it actually works very well. And so if we take a closer look at the app, you will see that up the top left hand corner going across, we have our exposure we can change and everything's set to auto when you first open the phone. But once you touch one of the, the choices and you move the dial, then it goes out of auto mode. As soon as you touch exposure or the ISO levels, it all changes, it goes into auto. And the more you move stuff, you can see your picture changes, goes in and out of focus, brightness levels are cranked way high, your ISO levels are high, your shutter speed slow, fast. You can change your white balance and you can change your white balance to be based off of presets that it has or off of Kelvin's and you can change that in the settings and inside the settings you can use GPS locations. You can change whether or not your max phone brightness will be on when you run this app. You can have grid lines, self timer, sounds and you can choose whether to output your pictures in JPEGs or JPEG plus raw formats. And so a lot of settings there to go through and then your last one on the top is your flash on and off. Um, other than that, there's really nothing to the app. If you want to reset something back to its auto function, say for example, the white balance, you'll tap the white balance button and you'll let go and then it'll say auto. So you can do that with each one of the actual buttons and it'll restore everything to the auto format. Now with this app, I was able to get pictures that I otherwise wouldn't be able to. My phone has a really hard time focusing in on text that's in a close range. And so the photos always come out blurry and it doesn't focus on the text. But with this manual camera app, I can set the focus length and the focus point wherever I want. So I can easily focus in on something very close or I can focus on something very far away just by sliding the dial. And so it works very well whenever you need to decide what is best for your picture and not let your phone decide because a lot of times the phone doesn't know what's the best <laughs> anyways. I've also found that the camera is a lot quicker than the stock camera that's on my Android phone. And I have a Nexus 5 and so it's running just stock Android, uh, but the stock camera app can be sluggish at times, but I found that the manual camera app takes pictures at a much faster rate. Now there are really only three issues I found with this app that really aren't deal breakers, but they're kind of things that I wish they would fix. Number one is there's no front facing camera support. Now I know the front facing camera probably isn't near as powerful. I know it's not near as powerful as the back facing camera. So I'm not sure if all the settings could still work with the front facing camera or they'll have to strip it down just to access the front facing camera. But it'd be really nice if they could have that feature because right now I still have to use a stock camera if I need to use the front facing camera for anything. Another thing that might be a deal breaker for some people is that it does not have video support. It can only be used to take pictures. Now down the road, they might add this as well as the front facing camera support. But as of right now, you cannot shoot video with this only useful for taking a lot of pictures. Now there's one other little thing that's a little issue, not really a big deal to me is that whenever you take a picture, you can take it and then you'll see it in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. You tap it, you can go and view the pictures in the photos app. But if you hit the back button on your device, it takes you back to the home screen, not to the actual app. Now that can easily be fixed with some programming. So I'm sure that's going to be fixed in an upcoming update, but it's just a small little bug that I found that can be annoying for some people. And so this app costs $2.99 and is it worth it? I think it is because the stock camera app was getting really annoying for me because it's slow and I couldn't change anything. I sat here for 10 minutes one day trying to figure out how to change the white balance and I couldn't figure it out. Unless there's some mystical way that I don't know of, there is no way. And so I think it's definitely worth the three bucks that I paid for it because it completely unlocks your camera to change manually pretty much everything. And it really just opens up possibilities. You can change it to take a very just completely 
just blown out of proportion white image or you can get really dark and grainy images. You can do whatever you want with this thing. And it's very versatile and I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for an app that unlocks control for your camera on your Lollipop devices. And so that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Leave me a thumbs up if you did and also remember to subscribe for more videos from me. Let me know down in the comment sections below if you use manual camera or what other camera apps do you use that you have found to be better than the stock app that comes with your Android device. And so that's gonna do it for this video. Make sure you guys also follow me on all my social links. They are all down in the description below. And thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.